I'm here with Sani Shena, who has been uh, head of uh, TAV since 1997. And during that time, he's really been at the rock face of Turkey's infrastructure story, involved in big projects, not just in Turkey, but in places like Saudi Arabia and many other foreign countries as well. Could you tell us really in particular about infrastructure in Turkey, in terms of how important it's been for the country's economic development and whether there are any constraints on funding the very ambitious projects that we see ahead. We've obviously got plans for the world's biggest airport, a big canal, new bridges. How important is this infrastructure project plan and are there really funding constraints on it? Turkey needs infrastructure, this is for sure. And the infrastructure projects will continue to be in Turkey. And with true public-private partnership, a lot of infrastructure projects uh, has been done in Turkey. And it was very, they were all very successful. And I'm sure that this success will continue. But uh, after the privatization, uh, there was a very good track record. Now, maybe since the projects are huge, there may be some difficulties in the funding of these projects. Can I ask you uh, just about the economy? We've seen the Turkish lira hit all-time lows against the dollar for all three days this week so far, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, and we also have Turkish corporates have net foreign exchange liabilities of about $180 billion. How much of a concern is that in terms of uh, the Turkish economy and the Turkish economic model? Um, uh, now, uh, when you look at these projects, uh, the sponsors, if their uh, revenues are in dollars or euros, they will not have any kind of difficulty. For example, as Tau Airport Holding, we have uh, re our revenues are in dollars and euros. And we have uh, uh, loans which we are using in uh, dollars and euro terms. But we won't have any difficulty. Uh, the, in some projects, the revenues are in Turkish lira, but the debt is in uh, dollars. So these kind of projects may have difficulties. Do you think that's widespread? Do you think there's a widespread currency mismatch in terms of corporate debt in uh, Turkey? Yes, yes, I think so. So that's, that is a big concern for Turkish economy? Big concern for Turkish economy, but again, I believe in uh, Turkey very much. I mean, it will be very, uh, it will not be very hard for Turkey to overcome these difficulties. And then finally, if I could ask, um, what about political risk in Turkey? We're coming up to very important elections on June the 7th when we're going to elect a new government. Uh, and there's a uncertainty about the president and what kind of role he's going to have. Now, his advisers say some interesting things. One advisor said today in a newspaper column that Turkey should perhaps explore a clearing currency union with Russia and Iran to respond to the dollar strength. Another advisor said that Turkey's wealthy should be put on notice that they're going to look into the books for the last 80 years. Is there any kind of political risk with these kind of policies being pushed? Yeah, uh, I don't think so, definitely. Why? Because Turkey is a democratic country. I mean, you are saying that we are talking, uh, coming close to an elections. When there are elections, that means that there is democracy. So we have to uh, act and accord according to the, uh, uh, adjust ourselves according to the results of the elections. There will be very clean elections in, in Turkey where it has been nearly for 90 years. So I do not think there won't be any political risk in Turkey. But in the international affairs. I mean, Turkey is surrounded now by a lot of problems. Okay, in Syria, in Iraq, there are a lot of problems. These problems may affect Turkish economy, but I do not think that there won't be any political uh, risk because our president was the prime minister nearly for the last 12 years. He knows the country very well. And the new prime minister, if he is elected again, uh, I am sure that they are going to work in a harmony uh, for this country. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.